Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to talk about retrograde Mars. So, all the planets go retrograde and uh, the planet Moon and Sun being luminaries, they will not go retrograde. And Rahu and Ketu are always retrograde and Jupiter and Saturn go retrograde uh, once in, in a year for a couple of months and uh, Venus and Mars, they go retrograde once in two years and Mars will stay in retrograde position for about two months time. Its usual stay in a sign is for about one and a half months and it takes about two years time to complete one rotation around the sun and Mercury goes retrograde three times in a year. So what is retrogression all about? Let's first talk about that. See all the planets they are revolving around the axis of sun and uh, the axis of the sun is in the form of an eclipse which means it's not circular and it resembles the shape of an oval so which means at certain positions uh, the planets appear to be closer to sun or in fact they are closer to sun and at certain places the planets are away from sun when we watch this kind of movement from earth uh, the other planets who are moving always in the forward direction they will appear to be moving in the backward direction and when something like this happens at that time they are called as retrograde planets now in the classic text especially in the nadi text it is written that when a planet is retrograde at that time it will give the results of the previous house i'm not sure how far this is true but uh, it is definitely given in the classic texts that the planet will give the results of the previous house but this is sure that the planets they never move in the backward direction but they appear to be moving in the backward direction now this is uh, this is uh, this is the theory of retrogression and one more thing is that uh, whenever the planets go retrograde before that they go into a stationary phase and after retrogression again they go into stationary phase and then they become direct so now let's come back to the planet mars when it goes into the stationary phase at that time the planet mars uh, is like that for about three to four days and it is having very strong energies in fact stronger than the mars who is in the forward direction so at that time uh, this Mars is capable of uh, achieving great things. So what are the characters of Mars? Uh, let's talk about that now. The features of Mars are like lots of action, lots of energies, lots of sexual energies, lots of passion and lots of logic, lots of reasoning and combati uh, combati combating uh, capabilities. So these are some of the qualities of Mars. So when it is in the retrograde motion, at that time the planet is very inwardly driven, which means it's slow and it's not going to exhibit its uh, characteristics in full capacity. So these people who have got a retrograde Mars, they are very good with their logic because it's all about the inwardly driven capacity of a person so these people are very intelligent they can be very big scientists doctors researchers and uh, these people are very stubborn also uh, once they decide upon doing something nobody can stop them from that but when it comes to exhibiting the things outwardly they shy away from that and sometimes uh, whatever tasks they have taken up they may leave that task in in between only and this is the drawback of having uh, retrograde planets in your charts uh, so the planet uh, when mars is retrograde at that time it will try not to exhibit its uh, outwardly characteristics of anger of being very active and these people uh, they try to contain their anger within their own cells because of so much of heat energy within themselves uh, they will have problems with their digestion and they will have problems 
uh, with their stomachs also. So this is the drawback of retrograde Mars and these people become very fearful also uh, because they don't want to uh, they don't want to deal with people who are having anger and because they don't uh, want to do that so they make sure that whatever work they are doing should be done perfectly uh, of course as i told you they may leave the task undone sometimes but their intention is to complete the task um, perfectly so that nobody should point a finger on them so they try to avoid any kind of confrontations outwardly and this is one of the uh, biggest traits of planet Mars who is retrograde in our charts. Now this uh, another thing which you should keep in your mind is that a planet who is uh, debilitated like Mars gets debilitated in the sign of Cancer and if it is retrograde in your chart and if it is in the sign of Cancer it will behave like a benefic and if this Mars is exalted in your sign in your charts uh, like uh, Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn and it is a retrograde simultaneously in that case it may not behave like an exalted planet because uh, the energies of Mars are not going to be there in the full swing because it is in the retrograde condition. Now there is one more condition that if a planet is uh, retrograde and if it is a benefic planet in that case uh, the beneficence is reduced quite a lot because now it has gone into a retrograde motion similarly Mars being a malefic and if it is a retrograde in any other sign I am not talking about the debilitation sign if this Mars is retrograde and if it is in the uh, in any sign in that case it will become highly malefic now if uh, this Mars if it is retrograde and if it is Vargotama which means if it is in the same sign in your D9 chart also in that case this Mars will cease to be bad and it will give you good results of its Karaktatvas of the houses to which it is lord of in your chart so Mars is Karak Tattva of properties of brothers of uh, husbands as per Nadi astrology so these things would not show any kind of suffering if this retro Mars is a Vargotama in your D9 chart also now there is one more thing that if a planet who is retrograde in your D1 chart and in your D9 chart also it's retrograde in the same sign which means it's Vargotama and if it is with a planet who is your uh, Atmakarka in that case uh, this planet will give you excellent results related to your career so let's say if your Mars is retrograde in the sign of say Taurus and it is with your Atmakarka planet say Mercury is your Atmakarka planet in your chart and in your D9 chart also this Mars is in the sign of Taurus and uh, it is with your Atmakarka Mercury in that case it will give you excellent results related to your career so this point also should be kept in your mind now uh, as per one of the classics of Ratnakar uh, it has been mentioned that a planet who is in the seventh position from sun or in the eighth position from sun will also behave like a retrograde planet only its qualities would be like a retrograde planet so you can check this out if uh, this uh, if this point works in your charts but about this point i am not sure but it has been mentioned in one of the classic texts now uh, having too many retrograde planets in your charts will slow down the results and these people may not complete the tasks that they take in their hands and uh, these people are sometimes very spiritual also if they have too many retrograde planets and in case uh, one retrograde planet in your chart is aspecting another retrograde planet in that case both the retrograde planets will suffer 
and the lordships will also suffer and the karkas will also suffer so it's not good to have too many retrograde planets in your charts of course as i told in one of my previous videos that uh, the results of the retrograde planets would be only felt when they are moving in the forward direction in the transits until then you will not see any results of these planets even if the dasha is going on so it's very important to see their position in the transits also so friends uh, this was all about the retrograde planets i hope you must have gained something from this video uh, so if you have liked the video please uh, press the like icon and share this video